Well, there you have it, the life of Christ. We've looked at his birth, his life, his death, and finally his resurrection. We've seen how he paid the price for our sins. However, unless you take it to heart, knowing it won't do you a bit of good. Jesus made it clear that there's no way to come to the Father but through him. He said that we had to become as a small child, making it clear that it was absolutely nothing that we could do or have done, but instead was entirely everything that he has done for us. Salvation is a free gift, but like all gifts, you must accept it. Say I have a gift for you. If you don't accept it, does it really do you any good? Is it really even yours? If there's one verse that sums up the entire of the Gospels, in fact, the entire Bible, it would have to be John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's really that simple. Just put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Carrying on to the next verse we read, For God sent not a son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God doesn't want to see anyone perish. He doesn't want anybody going to hell. In 2 Peter 3.9 we read this, The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering toward usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. However, God won't let the unholy into heaven, <laughs> and we've all sinned. As we read in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Even our good, in God's eyes, is not good. As we read in Isaiah 64.6, But we all are as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. No amount of our good can ever get us into heaven. God's on another level, and our good doesn't match up. Jesus stepped in and saved us by becoming the payment for our sins, the propitiation. We read in 1 John 4.10, Here in his love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. So, what's a propitiation, you ask? Well, luckily, we got a really helpful staff, and they left me notes. Round here we go. The act of appeasing the wrath and obtaining the favor of an offended person. Our sin offended God. All of our sinfulness, vileness, and evilness was just offensive to his perfect and holy self. And that's why we couldn't get into heaven. However, Jesus stepped in, took our place on the cross, died for our sins, took our punishment, and he restored that relationship between God and ourselves. And now, through him, we have access to heaven once more. If you'd like to talk to somebody about salvation, please call our friends at 1-888-NEED-HIM. Or, alternately, you can send us an email, prayer at thebibleanimated.com.